What's up everyone, Justin Graver here with another breakdown for the Music City Audible and there's not a whole lot of good to break down from this Titans Colts matchup so I'm going to look at DeAndre Hopkins who had his best game as a Titan so far, 8 catches on 11 targets, 140 yards, accounted for 53% of the Titans total uh, receiving yards in this game. So. This video is basically to show that DeAndre Hopkins is still an elite wide receiver in this league and without him I, I struggle to think where the Titans offense would be. So let's get into this breakdown looking at how DeAndre Hopkins is changing things for the Titans offense. Alright we're going to start here with Hopkins first catch and it's a pretty simple route but I want, I want to look at how much separation Hopkins creates with this one. Takes his stem outside here to create leverage because he knows where his route is going. Wants to keep that defender on the outside of him because he's going to break this back in. Look how much separation he creates. Right here at the top of his route, he's got his arm out, he's using it, he doesn't really push off though. And we can see that because he doesn't take his arm really from a bent position to a fully extended position. He's just keeping it straight. That's why this isn't called for offensive pass interference, but look at that here. Hopkins is facing this way, ready to come back to the ball. The defender is still has his body turned upfield, and he's got over two yards of separation here to make this a really easy throw for Ryan Tannehill. And not only that, but he starts to come back to the ball. And look at that, before the ball is even in his hands, he's got one foot down and he's dragging the back foot. This is excellent sideline footwork by the all pro receiver. Gets both feet down for the catch. Nice gain on first down. First play of the game for the Titans. Okay, next play. This one's really interesting. Hopkins lined up in the backfield. The Titans have been doing this somewhat frequently this season, especially on third downs. And the reason is it gives Hopkins a very clean release off the line of scrimmage. There's no defensive back here to jam him. There's no one that can throw off the timing of this route with press coverage off the line of scrimmage. It also matches Hopkins up with these linebackers as opposed to a defensive back, which gives Hopkins a clear athletic advantage. Linebacker's not as used to playing in coverage, especially against an elite receiver like Hopkins. So we'll take a look as Hopkins comes out of the backfield here. He's reading the linebackers now, reading the defense. And Zaire Franklin here is already crashing downhill. He's obviously got eyes on Hopkins. He's, he's coming down to try to take away a quick pass here. This linebacker is about to pass off Chigakonkwo and try to stay with Hopkins over the top. But because of this downhill motion from Zaire Franklin, Hopkins is able to use that against him and peel it right behind him over the top. Aware of the position of this other linebacker, knowing he can't take it too far upfield and run it straight into coverage, finds that hole in the zone right behind these two linebackers and Tannehill makes a great throw. We can see the anticipation from Tannehill too. Right here, Tannehill's already getting ready to throw the ball. Look where Hopkins is compared to the defenders. He hasn't even really made his break yet. He's still got a defender on the inside, which is where the path of the ball will be. But again, I mentioned all this space here. Hopkins knows to cut this inside before he gets too close to this linebacker and find that soft spot in the zone right on the other side of Franklin. So Tannehill throws it there. Hopkins comes free. This linebacker on the backside is coming over to make a play. Hopkins uses his body to protect the football. And we'll take a look at that again from the end zone camera so we can really see how Hopkins is able to protect this ball. It comes off the line of scrimmage. There goes Zaire Franklin breaking down on the potential pass. Tannehill ready to throw here. Throws the ball with anticipation. Again, Hopkins has not cleared the linebacker yet, but Tannehill knows he's going to. Using this momentum against him, knowing he's got plenty of space here, this linebacker is going to try to challenge the play, but he's not close enough to actually make a play on the ball. And as Hopkins comes around, the ball is perfectly placed here. Hopkins uses his hands and his body to protect it from that swipe from the linebacker there. Picks up a first down. Nice route, nice throw, nice catch. Okay, this is the halfback pass play. We're going to look at here Derrick Henry throwing to Hopkins. This was Hopkins' only red zone target of the game. We saw the previous play. Hopkins did so much to get this team into position to score. He was really productive between the 20s, but when the Titans got in the red zone, they didn't target Hopkins outside of this play. So Tannehill did not target Hopkins in the red zone. I hate that for the Titans offense. He was their best player on Sunday. They got to get him the ball more. But this is a really creative play design. We talked about this in the breakdown last week, looking at Titans explosive plays, how once Henry has the ball, the safeties are crashing on it, right? And they're using that aggressiveness against them, using knowing that defenses are going to key on Henry in the run game. 
So this safety is coming downhill. Hopkins is going to break this out to the outside away from coverage to give a clear passing lane for Derrick Henry to try to make this throw. And take a look at how Hopkins sets this up. As he comes off the line of scrimmage, he's sort of lollygagging, looking like he's trying to go block somebody, appearing to be looking for someone to block. But here, once that safety starts making his move downhill, Hopkins has eyes on the safety. Once the safety starts coming downhill, Hopkins is going to quickly break this out again, away from coverage to make it an easy pass for Henry. And Henry just, he waits a tiny second too long to throw this ball and just overthrows it. This was inches away from being DeAndre Hopkins' first touchdown as a Titan. The body control, trying to get those feet in bounds and that left foot just barely touches on the white. Incomplete pass. All right, here's another example of Hopkins lining up in the backfield. He doesn't get the ball on this play, but he should. Here's Hopkins again in the backfield. He's just going to stem up field here and take this like a little seam route in the red zone to the goal line. And Tannehill really should fit this ball over the safety right into Hopkins' hands. But unfortunately, he looks another way. It looks like he's going to throw this ball. He wants to give it to Hopkins here, but then he comes off the read. I think he's, he felt this was too muddy. But if he just trusted Hopkins a little more on this play, Hopkins is going to clear all this mud and be wide open in the end zone. Right there, Tannehill should be letting this ball fly. And we'll take a look at it again from the other angle, from the end zone angle, so you can see just how open he is. This was called offensive pass interference on Chigakonquo. But here we go. Hopkins over here. Again, just going to take this right up the seam. This linebacker might scare Tannehill off, but it's similar to the other play we just looked at, where his momentum is carrying him downhill. He's not going to be able to get back. He's not gaining depth here to try to take away this route. He's maybe in the passing lane, but Tannehill should be able to fit this over the top to Hopkins. And he just doesn't give him a chance. Let's take a look at Hopkins on the left side. As he clears through all that, he's got like a natural pick play from Nick Westbrook Aquina. And this defender is going to run with Westbrook Aquina outside. Look at how much space Tannehill has here. Yes, this linebacker is ready to break. But again, he's breaking downhill, not upfield. Hopkins would be is going to be wide open right here. Tannehill should let this ball fly, put a little bit of arc on it. Hopkins can go up with those big hands, his athletic ability, his size, and go up and make a high-pointed catch near the back of the end zone. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, Tannehill comes off this read and doesn't throw to Hopkins right there. See the linebacker breaking? He's coming downhill. He's not going to be able to get in this passing lane if Tannehill had just given it to Hopkins up top. Could have been a touchdown. Instead, it's offensive pass interference on Chigakonkwo. Okay, here's the next play. On this one, DeAndre Hopkins again gets open, but Tannehill doesn't look at him. We'll go close on Hopkins here as he stems outside again, using that big frame of his physically to create space here. The cornerback's being physical with him, so Hopkins is physical right back. You can see his outside arm keeping the cornerback away, and then he swims over the coverage. And right here, it's a tight window throw, but Hopkins has the defender on his back. If Tannehill puts that ball like right here, Hopkins can go out with his hands, secure it again, use his body to protect the football. We saw a similar catch against the Bengals on third down. Hopkins with this kind of coverage on him. He's got space. There is room to make this throw, but Tannehill is looking on the other side of the field. Doesn't give it to him. All right, the next play, this is one where DeAndre Hopkins uses his physicality to draw a pass interference penalty deep down the field. He doesn't really create separation on this one, but he doesn't need to. Check it out. So as he stems up field again, he's using that arm to create space, but the cornerback has his arm on him too, so there's no pass interference for that. Hopkins is just going to keep being physical, trying to knock that arm off of him. And then right when he would be creating separation, as the cornerback turns to look for the ball, he puts his inside arm on DeAndre Hopkins' shoulder pad. He grabs him here and, and turns him a little bit. Hopkins was just about to create space up the field here. And because of that tug on the inside with the cornerback's right arm, the ref throws the flag. Here comes the ball. He's got Hopkins' arm right there. Look at that. He's grabbing him by the arm, not letting Hopkins get free. And here comes the flag. Okay, next play. We have Hopkins lined up in the slot this time. And again, the Titans are doing this to get him matched up with linebackers instead of defensive backs. Another play where Hopkins doesn't get the ball, but he is open. He's just going to run a little over route like this. Again, he's got linebackers on him. Tajay Spears has a similar route underneath, and that's where Tannehill goes with the ball. But 
I don't know what the Titans off. I don't know how the Titans offense is designed, but a lot of the time the reads for a quarterback go high to low. So Tannehill should be looking at Hopkins first, and then if he's not open, checking it down to Spears if this linebacker drops back with Hopkins, which isn't the case on this play. Hopkins takes his stem inside towards the hash marks here, splitting the linebackers as we can see here. And we can see how Spears route affects this linebacker. This linebacker is not dropping with Hopkins. He's playing up on Tajay Spears, but Tannehill doesn't read this correctly and throws it underneath instead. Look at how much space Hopkins has. And yes, this defender is slightly influenced by Tannehill's motion. That's why maybe he didn't drop back as much as he did. But Tannehill could use his eyes to fool this linebacker, look off him, look at Tajay Spears, and then throw it behind the linebacker over the top to Hopkins. This guy's not in a position to make a play. Neither is this guy. Hopkins is open right between the coverage. This is third and three. Line to gain is the 28 on third and three. Hopkins is wide open past the sticks. And for some reason, Tannehill dumps it down to Spears instead of trying to get this throw deeper to Hopkins. And it's broken up. We can see it again from this angle. It's very similar to the play we saw Hopkins running out of the backfield as he just takes his route right behind the linebacker here. And this linebacker's got eyes on Spears. He's not even paying attention to Hopkins. It has nothing to do with Tannehill looking at Spears and targeting him on this play. Tannehill should put this ball right in the hole of the coverage here and get this to Hopkins, but he doesn't. Look at that. Right here as Tannehill is releasing the ball, if he throws it here instead of here, this is a catch and a conversion on third down. Instead, the Titans have to settle for a long 50 plus yard field goal, which Nick Folk boot boots through, but should have been a big play to Hopkins. All right, this one is a big play to Hopkins. Start of the second half here, right after a Derrick Henry run, Titans attacking downfield. And look at that. I mean, this is pretty simple because the cover because of the zone coverage there's nobody near hopkins i mean he's just got a wide open free release straight to this hole in the zone Tannehill finds him back to the sideline cam here again zone coverage colts dropping back there's nobody even looking at hopkins as he just runs up field to the empty space does a great job settling in the zone and making himself an available target for Tannehill on this play action pass it's not an anticipation read Tannehill isn't throwing this ball before hopkins turns he waits for Hopkins to show himself here. These linebackers get all jumbled up because of the play action. Now they're trying to bail out of, of their run fits here into coverage. And Hopkins is easily able to settle in this hole of the zone. If he had taken his route a little more inside, this play wouldn't be there. If he'd taken it outside, obviously he wouldn't do that, but this play wouldn't be there. So Hopkins, savvy veteran, finds the hole in the zone between three Colts defenders, and he's wide open for this catch and conversion on second down. Very next play, this is the deep over. Hopkins is going to take this deep over. It's a two-man route, and we'll pay attention to how his stem and his break really is able to create space here for himself. So as he stems, he's, he's slanting inside a little bit, running straight into the body of this defensive back so that he can break off of it. Classic. Hopkins using that right hand to create a little bit of extra separation at the top of his stem here as he is getting ready to break across the field. Puts that arm out so the cornerback can't get hands on him. And then he's just running to open field this direction. We got the clear out route over the top taking the, these defensive backs out of the play. This defensive, this linebacker here is not gaining enough depth to take away this route, but to take away this pass, but that's also because Hopkins does a good job this is a deep over route, right? So Hopkins could take this flat like this, but because of the coverage and where the defender is, he, he sort of takes it more upfield, almost more like a deep post, even though it's just a deep over route. And because of that, he's able to get behind the linebacker. Tannehill does a nice job delivering it over the linebacker. Again, DeAndre Hopkins, that veteran savvy ability, especially against zone coverage is able to get open because he runs to the space, uses the linebacker's positioning against him. Huge big play for the Titans, setting them up in the red zone again, but doesn't get a target in the red zone. Of course, Tajay Spears scored a touchdown on a reverse, I think on the next play there, so. All right, moving forward here, another great play by Hopkins. This is similar to the route we looked at earlier where he didn't get the ball. Again, he's gonna use that big frame and his physicality to create separation at the top of the route there. Look at him, he pushes off a little bit, but the cornerback's being just as physical with him. So this is not pass interference. 
Hopkins is gonna stem this outside before breaking it back around and running this little curl. Some receivers will just run straight down the field and turn around. Hopkins knows where he's supposed to get eventually, so he's setting the defensive back up to be on his outside hip so that when he comes around to get this pass, the defender is on his backside, creating space and making an easy throw again for Ryan Tannehill. Take a look here. Yeah, there's a bit of a push off, but again, the cornerback is grabbing his arm. He's got two hands on Hopkins, especially that left arm is over the top of Hopkins shoulder pad. So Hopkins getting physical back. I mean, you got to play physical with DeAndre Hopkins because you know he's going to do this. But when the cornerback initiates all the contact, the receiver is free and clear to use that contact to his advantage. And look at that. This cornerback is in no position now. All of his weight's going this direction. His momentum's taking him this way. You can't make a play on the ball from a stance like this. He's off balance. Hopkins comes right back around to Tannehill. An easy throw and catch. A great route from the veteran receiver. Uses his body here to protect the ball so the cornerback can't come into his frame. Strong hands, cornerback's draped all over his arms, but, but Hopkins with those big strong mitts, look at that, he's got it in one hand. Keeps the ball away from the defender so that this ball can't get ripped out of his arms. And look at that, he's got it in his right hand, one hand, <laughs> to keep the ball safe. Another big conversion for Hopkins and the Titans. Okay, next play here, Tannehill finds Hopkins this time. This is what he should have done on that play to Spears. Of course, there's no underneath defender to suck up the linebacker's attention on this one, but you don't really need it because Hopkins knows how to keep moving. This is scramble drill-ish. This is sort of like onto the next play is what they say when the initial when the initial read isn't there. So Hopkins just has another little sit route, sort of like we just saw in the last play, only this time he's stemming it inside because he's got Chris Moore clearing out over the top. So he wants to stay tight to Moore to, to take the defensive backs upfield. And we'll see this linebacker is the one responsible for trying to gain depth and cover Hopkins. This is well covered at first, but Hopkins extending the play. Tannehill standing strong in the pocket. Takes a big hit as he delivers this ball. We'll check this out here as Hopkins runs behind Chris Moore. Look at that, running step for step. Right behind Chris Moore. Moore's gonna take the defensive backs up field. This linebacker is gonna be responsible for trying to cover Hopkins over the middle here. We see right here, this is the end of the route. So at this point, it's not there. Zaire Franklin's directly in the passing lane, but Hopkins on to the next play. What's the best way to get open here? Well, this linebacker is gaining depth in this direction, again, using his momentum against him. This is one of the things that makes Hopkins so good against zone coverage is reading the defender's positioning and using it against them. So he's gonna break across the middle of the field. We got a little eye manipulation from Tannehill, which is gonna make this defender break this way as the ball comes out this way and it's a wide open play. Great job, great chemistry between Hopkins and Tannehill here, knowing which direction Hopkins is gonna go as Tannehill looks the other way to, again, to create space. This little mini scramble drill and then Tannehill stands tall in the pocket and takes a huge hit as he delivers this ball to a wide open receiver. Look at that right there. The ball is coming out and yet the defender is still breaking this direction. Great eye manipulation, Hopkins coming this way and this throws right on the money allowing Hopkins to get upfield for a little bit of yards after catch. He doesn't have a ton of that in his game anymore at this point in his career, but did what he could. We'll see it one more time from this angle. Again, Chris Moore and Hopkins running almost the same looking route step for step. Moore's going to clear this out. Hopkins going to sit this down. This linebacker gets totally fooled. We'll see this one more time. Here, the play's not there. Look at Tannehill's eyes as he moves the linebacker to the right. And, to, and Hopkins runs to the left, takes that huge crushing hit, but hits Hopkins right in the hands in stride as he's running over the middle of the field. We'll take a look at it one more time from this angle. Again, there's Zaire Franklin in the passing lane. This is crazy to me. Watch how Franklin continues to move this direction as Hopkins moves this direction. Look at that, and in wide open, right in the hands, the ball hits Hopkins, and there he goes. Okay, next play we're going to look at another example of Hopkins getting lined up from the slot inside so he's matched up on a linebacker. We'll see him coming into view on the right side of your screen there. Just going to take this little over route across the formation. Linebackers can't keep up with him. And he just runs to space. 
wide open, ball behind him, big strong hands, goes up, makes the catch. Another gain to set the Titans up in the red zone where he did not see a target. All right, this was probably his best catch of the day. Hopkins runs a great route. This is sort of like a pivot route. Take a look at it one more time. So Hopkins is gonna take this stem inside, sort of faking the over, slams on the brakes, drops the hips, and pivots back outside. There's still two defenders in the area on this one covering where Hopkins is gonna be. Tannehill puts the ball a little upfield, maybe a little more than he intended, but Hopkins goes up, body control to make this catch. So we'll see, stems upfield, takes it inside, bang, drops the hips, cuts outside. Look at that. Hopkins facing this way, defender is facing the opposite direction, so is this defender. Tannehill's a little bit late with this throw. If he got it out right now, it would be an easy clean catch and maybe a touchdown. Instead, it takes an extra two steps from Hopkins before the ball is out. And then this ball is going upfield, so Hopkins makes an adjustment. This ball should be coming right here, so Hopkins can just make a clean sideline catch. Instead, the ball is traveling upfield to Hopkins' upfield shoulder, so Hopkins has to adjust to this pass which he does beautifully, pivoting his shoulders around, goes up, high points the football at its, again, its high point, that is the highest possible point, high points the football, and then the body control to protect the ball from the safety who's swiping at it. We'll see it again from the other angle so you can see the body control. This is textbook, this is teaching tape for a wide receiver. Go up to make the high point catch, and while you're still in the air, turn your body away from the defender, protect the ball, bring it into your body with strong hands, and look at that. Hopkins use his, uses his back to shield the ball from the defender as he comes in to try to break up the pass, to knock it out of Hopkins' hands or rip Hopkins' arms away. But Hopkins does such a nice job. Again, textbook. This is what they teach young receivers to do when you're high-pointing a ball on a defender's hip, is to turn away from the defender and use your body as a shield so the defender cannot get to the ball. Great catch. Great job getting both feet down and then not losing control of the ball as he goes out of bounds on the sideline, maintains control. Excellent play, his best catch of the day. All right, this is the last play we're gonna look at, and Hopkins does not get the ball on this play, but it's another one where he should, because again, he's pretty open. Tannehill checks it down underneath, right in front of the first down marker. This led to the fourth down play, where the Titans failed to convert. If Tannehill had looked Hopkins' way on this one, might have been a touchdown, and who knows, the game could have been totally different. Titans would have taken a three-point lead here, instead giving the ball back to the Colts, down four with eight minutes to go, and they didn't see it again until they were down seven with one minute to go. Hopkins has got a pretty simple route. He's just going to take this outside, but he creates a lot of open space here. Tannehill maybe under pressure a little too quickly, can't get it to him. Is reading the other side of the field, so maybe this play was never designed to go to Hopkins, but again, against zone coverage here, it's really between him and the safety, and Hopkins, again, knowing how to read zone coverage, knowing how to use leverage against him, doesn't take his route too far upfield, doesn't get too close to this safety. Instead, he peels it off here. He's got plenty of space with the defender on his back, with this defender worrying about this receiver. This linebacker has more middle of the field area. He's not getting all the way outside. Hopkins is going to be wide open coming out this way. Tannehill could feather a pass directly into Hopkins' hands, sort of at the sideline in the end zone. This honestly should be a touchdown. Look right there how wide open Hopkins is. This defender sort of in position, but if you get that over the top, let Hopkins make a high point catch with this defender on his back. You got to just trust that this all pro veteran receiver is going to be able to make a play here. It's not super open, but I think it's open enough that Tannehill should have gone to Hopkins on this play. Instead, he goes to the other side of the field and Tajay Spears is tackled short of the line to gain, setting up that fourth down. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and stay tuned to the Music City Audible podcast where Justin Mello and I talk all things Titans.